This is Twit. We should just talk about Twitter. I think everybody by now, Leo, knows that there was a big event that happened on Wednesday of last week. Um, so the, Twitter's the one thing that's missing from the most up to date information I've seen is any sense for who did it. And I'm sure that's if they have any idea that's embargoed because they're not wanting to met, get in the way of law enforcement or whatever forensics well, they may have. The New York Times you know, fingered a guy named Kirk. Oh, <laughs> hadn't, I, <laughs> hadn't heard that. I mean, I don't think they've – that's the identity he assumed. They haven't associated that with a real person. But there is a great New York Times article where they talked – it's interesting because Kirk, before he perpetrated this, was reaching out to a bunch of sim swappers. These are guys who aren't exactly malicious. They make money by – Hacking single-letter Twitter domains, or or what they call OG domains, short, clever Twitter domains, and selling them to the highest bidder, like uh, at six, at six, that, that or was, at Y, yep. right? Yep. But these guys, so Kirk was talking to them, saying, "Look, I can do these things. You know, how much would you pay?" But they got bored. <laughs> 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 Apparently, according to their story, anyway, and they didn't follow up. But then shortly thereafter. He did use his admin console to perpetrate this spammy hack. So is he a Twitter employee, we think? No. Oh, oh you didn't. Okay, okay. you got to read the story because what, and Twitter has not admitted to this, whether it's true is unknown, but there seems to be good evidence that the way Kirk got this, Twitter only says socially engineered our guys. Right. Is he got into their private Slack channel where Twitter had pinned the credentials for the God Mode interface. <laughs> oh, wow. That's, that's, that's a good one. Oh, man. Yeah. So all he really so had to like, do, do was say, hey, let me into your, your Slack password. channel. Yeah. It's, it's a like, post-it note. Do not write note. your password on the blackboard. Yeah, it's a post-it note. When the camera crew is going to come in and do an interview. Can you believe it? Now, that's the New York Times story, and I think that it's well-sourced because... They, they got screenshots from these guys, and they got a lot of stuff from these guys to verify that they were talking to this guy and so forth. Um, but Twitter has not confirmed. So, isn't Interesting. that fascinating? Well, I'm glad to add. I'm glad that, that you know, we talked about this because you had more up-to-date information oh, than I, I did. All I had I love was this story. <laughs> their, yeah, Twitter's <laughs> note from Friday. Yeah. And, you know, they talked about 138 accounts and uh, of, of the 138 45 were, you know, messed with. And then eight people, there was, they had some internal tool uh, called your Twitter account or something that was used eight times. So, you know, I mean, they're, they're painting the best picture they, they can. Um, you know, it was funny too, because I, I got an email from Jason in the afternoon on Wednesday saying, Hey Steve, we'd love to have you on Thursday morning to talk about this on, on our show. Um, can, can you do that? And I said, yeah, sure. So I attempted to tweet the news to my followers that I would be on on Thursday morning and I was blocked. I got the weirdest, like, yeah. we, you know, th this looks like a bot is trying to post. So bot off. And it's like, yeah. what? I'm not a bot. They, they were so suspending I, accounts too. They were getting yes. very aggressive about this. Yeah. They didn't well, want anybody fact, to talk because about Because I'm sure yours was suspended too. Cause you and I are both, um, uh, what is it blue with the checks. little we're verified blue check verified. yeah verified and so they did a blanket block of all verified users just and, and and then there were other people who had anyone who had changed their password recently that raised their flag of suspicion so they they, they blocked any posts from those accounts I mean you know they really did respond quickly uh, as quickly as they could yeah it's, yeah, yeah, uh, it's a fast. Yeah, this is the New York Times article. It came out on uh, Friday. This is a fascinating story. The reason it's it, perhaps more important th than just, oh, they hacked Twitter, which who cares, is that the president uses this and many other leaders use this as a messaging system to tell the world what they're up to. It's terrifying to think that any of these accounts could have been compromised. And it was obvious yeah. when it started that it was. Not your. It wasn't a password hack or your average everyday hack because 
accounts like Bill Gates and Joe Biden's and Barack Obama's, all of which were hacked, almost certainly have higher levels of security on them. Right. They're not just using monkey123 right. as right. their password. There's it clearly had to be, it it clearly was obviously had to be an inside, an inside job. job. Right. Yeah. 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 That was our immediate well, and conclusion. and the nature of the tweets. It, it was a send, you know, two for one deal on Bitcoin. Send, you know, whatever you send me, I'll double it and send it back to you. And you know, w the last I heard was the I think. Well, I said on on Thursday on on Jason's show that that I had seen three hundred thousand dollars had been transferred into the Bitcoin account. I haven't seen that again. I've seen more like a hundred and twenty thousand. So. Some it's hard to tell. amount of money was made. The nature, we know the Bitcoin account, so you can look at the blockchain and see what was going on with it. But right. hackers routinely will put put money into it, take money out to obfuscate what they're making. The uh, best, so I, like you, I saw 100,000, but the best information came from Binance, which is a Bitcoin exchange, which right. said they had blocked a quarter of a million dollars of attempted transfers into that account. So wow. that's their customers saying, I'd like to give some money to Joe Biden and get it doubled. <laughs> so it might have been a more successful hack than it appeared to be. Um, and yeah. if it weren't for Binance blocking those transfers, it could have been a lot more money. It does make you wonder, though, if you had this God mode. Yes. What would be the Why best? Why use it for this? Yeah, what would you do with it? And maybe, <laughs> maybe this is misdirection. Maybe Kirk is really, you know, Vladimir. And uh, and he's up to other things. So we don't. And that's the why I wonder what's really going on here. Well, and uh, what I said uh, when I was talking to Jason on Thursday was that, you know, I, I, I don't know whether he knew, but you and I talked years ago at back at the Sony Entertainment hack where there was an advanced persistent threat that had been found in their network. And, you know, I said famously on the podcast, I don't want the job of trying to secure something like Sony. Oh, yeah. You know, that's impossible. It's, I mean, literally impossible. And so what, what this suggests is that, that clearly it was a mistake to, uh, if the credentials for this thing were, you know, stapled in the Slack channel so that it could be seen. But, but also the idea that a, that the bar is not higher to doing something like that. For example, and I, and I talked about uh, how, you know, there are protocols that use a majority voting approach with crypto where a, compromising a single individual wouldn't, wouldn't render the company vulnerable. You'd have, if, you know, a secret, a shared secret could be shared, for example, among nine people, but you've got to get three of them to all, agree in order to cause something to happen that way if you have a large enough body of people who who can be involved you're not worried about getting locked out because you know maury is gone for the day but at the same time it just it, i mean it, it's protecting the people yeah. from from being you know uh suckered in, into doing something with a social engineering attack so i i think this also suggests that you know, Twitter has become, as you said, Leo, so crucial. I mean, like bizarrely important <laughs> on the global important <laughs> on the global scale. Well, it it's also nuts. is it's kind of unconscionable because Twitter is not the first. So, a contractor, when leaving his job at Twitter two years ago, you no. might remember this, disconnected President Trump's account, deleted it. Uh, <laughs> And then, of course, Jack's account, the CEO, uh, his account was hacked a couple of months ago. You would think that at this point, Twitter would kind of be on notice yeah. that maybe they should be doing a better job. Yeah, this is just not a toy anymore yeah. that, you know, that allows people to send 140 characters between their phones. Yeah. It's, it's become a lot more than that. So. Yeah. And we should anyway, say, even hopefully... though the New York Times says that it was the Slack channel, that, you know, they got that from... Hackers and who knows if that's right, true, but right, uh, right, right. But so Twitter you know, hasn't allegedly yeah. to everything so far because you know unless we get it officially and who knows when and or if what we'll get officially from Twitter. I doubt we'll anyway, hear. That's, yeah, 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 yeah. That's what's known Good now, and uh, again, sort of puts the industry on notice that 
this stuff, which just started off being kind of like, oh, look, uh, are they are they making any money yet, Leo? Or are they still <laughs> no. waiting to make money in the future? <laughs> They've had profitable quarters, but they're not exactly <laughs> rolling in the dough. We don't really have an economic model, but yeah. we're going to let the whole world use this to talk to itself. And yeah. good luck. Yeah. We'll, we'll make it up in volume. <laughs>